Hi everybody, it's Angelo Klaus again, coming from the LHA Project. How are you doing today? I'm um, doing pretty well. Um, well, that's a lie, actually. Um, I just want to talk real quick about um, the fundraiser that I'm doing for my daughter. Um, as you know, in the other two videos, I'm doing a, uh, a fundraiser for my daughter, Ali Shea, which is what well, the project's named after, Ali Shea Colazzo, who passed away from ostrich and perfect after five weeks of life. And she fought for the five weeks. Like I said, in the other two videos, they didn't really give her to the weekend to live. So the only time I really got to hold my daughter skin to skin as when she was dying and on that day we promise that we will do what we can to keep her fight alive and this is our fifth walk we're doing and I guess I don't know if I'm starting to feel the pressure or I'm, I'm just feeling I'm not doing enough um, I'm feeling that I'm letting her down on something I do not want to do she did not ask for this you know um, nobody asks for anything when they're born with a a rare disease, a rare disorder, or something's out there that's, you know, is popular, <laughs> I guess you could say, but I'm just feeling like I'm fighting an uphill battle in the, the mud and the pouring rain. Yes, we're doing good and we're, we're getting the word out a little bit, but I just feel so hope help hope frustrating I'm trying to get to educate people I'm trying to get people to understand this disorder I'm trying to get people to understand this disorder sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough sometimes I feel like I'm, I'm not reaching people you know somebody commented once that on um, you know like the video something about the video quality or something it's like I don't have an organization backing me and doing my videos for me I'm doing them on my laptop that's it and I got some free software to to edit the best way I can I, I, I really can't afford any of the other editing software nobody's sponsoring me or anything like that to help me with this stuff and it's just me and my wife and what we have in a bank account you know which is to say it's really all that much we know we're have enough to you know keep us above the water and comfortable and all this extra stuff I do you know we do on our own we have people helping us but it's um, it's not easy at times and I guess now I'm feeling the pressure and I, I don't want to feel like I'm letting my daughter down that's the last thing I want to do I, I don't want to let Ellie down She's the most, I mean, <laughs> I promised her when we used to talk to her when she was in utero, had a little ultrasound thing, and we used to talk to her and play music, and I told her I will protect her. I will, I will keep her from harm. And I feel like I failed in it, and I couldn't do nothing. I know. I know there's nothing humanly possible I could have done and the doctors and nursing staff did all they could. But I just feel like I'm letting her down. I'm not doing enough. I'm not getting the word out. I know I, I don't feel guilty. I mean, I did what was best for her. I made the, the hardest choice that any person could make for a child that young. But I just feel so frustrated at times. It's just like you see other stuff. I, I, I'm not getting. I'm not jealous of other people. I mean, they lost a child. I mean, people lose a child, or they have a rare form of cancer or something like that. You know, it's just like they get all the support. And it's like I said, I'm not jealous. It's just like I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm like I'm reaching out to the community. I'm. I, I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. I feel like I'm the world's biggest failure as a father to my daughter. And to the people who have OI who I'm trying to help with this. I don't know what else to do. I'm doing the best I can and 
I just feel like I'm meeting so many obstacles. Like I said, I'm like I feel like I'm trying to fight an uphill battle in the mud and the rain, pouring rain, and I'm just not getting anywhere. Yes, we won an award for our fundraising event, or our fundraising efforts through the Ohio Foundation, and I did, you know, with a little bit of help, get the city of Rochester to proclaim last year, gave us a week for Ostriches and Perfecta um, Awareness Week, and then the state of New York gave us something. But still... I guess it's just not going where I want it to go. I mean, I don't have people contacting me and saying, hey, let's do this and let's wear blue for this day or I don't know. It's just it's just, it's just all the frustration I have inside of me right now. And just, I want to do good. I know I'm doing good, but I don't know if I'm making any sense. It's just alley. I promised her that I will keep her fight going and, and sometimes part of me feels like giving up because I don't think I'm doing enough. And I can't do that. I don't want to break my promise to my little girl. I don't want to break my promise to her. But I just don't know what else to do. I will keep going. I will. I will not give up. I look at her beautiful picture at times and... And I know I'm doing it for her. I'm keeping her fight going. If she was here today, she would definitely would want me to keep my fight going, keep her fight going, or I should say. <sighs> Allie, if you're listening to me, if you're looking down at me, no, I'm trying my best. I'm really trying my best, baby, we are trying our best. So sorry, honey. I don't know. If I was more popular, I'd get more people to listen to me. <laughs> so that's all I have to say for right now. I, I just want to say is that I'm feeling very frustrated, I feel the pressure of all this, all of a sudden just feels like a big weight on me and I don't want to quit, I just wish I knew a better way to help my daughter, to be her champion, to be her knight, to help the people out there who have no voice in Hawaii. I mean, where's the story? I got off of the um, the site uh, Facebook page, a Life Foundation's um, Facebook page. This lady, she guess she has a Y. She has type one and four. She lives a very productive life, even though she has broken over 190 bones and and have many rotting surgeries. She's desperate, and she goes, I do not know where to start. She has struggled for many, many years to find support for her disease. I have been turned away by many physicians due to the lack of knowledge, with their lack of knowledge, and none of them could even give her names the people who could help her. She's in constant pain, with no relief or access to medications we need it, but my, her whole chest cavity feels like it's, it's caving in and her ribs are up broken and she's scared. She said, I feel so alone and I'm hurting so much. And there's another lady who posted that her nine-year-old nephew, Rod, came through his femur six months ago. And this is, this is a while ago that I printed this out. But um, And since 
he refused to walk or to, uh, to bear weight even though his fractures are healed. Now for the people who don't know what rotting is, I want to post like a little animation of what it is. And But basically what it is, it's like an internal splint where they drill into the hole or drill into the bone and they put a rod through. Now imagine you're a little kid and you're constantly growing. So if you get the rotting surgery, you will, at a certain point when you grow, you have to get it replaced again. So imagine you're a seven-year-old kid and a year later, you, you know, your bones are growing over the rod and you see that little hook they have when you watch the little video that um, they have to take that out, put another rod in. I mean, how many surgeries in your lifetime you have to go through for that? That's the things people don't understand. You know, they, they hear, oh, I have the brittle bone disease, and they say, oh, you just got to be careful. Yep, that's my warning. I got to go. My uh, battery running dead on my laptop. But um, this is why I do what I do. I, I want to help people like this. I want them I want to, to, to raise awareness, even among the medical field, where people will have a place to turn to for help. The Y Foundation is great, they do the best they can, but like the other stuff out there, you can't help everybody. And I'm hoping I can fill in the cracks with that and with, with the money I raise and the awareness that I raise. But like again, I just feel like I'm a complete failure. I don't know what to do. I write the letters to people and it's like I tell them what I'm doing and I get no response. I even had a few people who donated in the past to us turn me away now. They said, no, we only do um, cancer or autism. And, and don't get me wrong, I am not, not saying I'm angry about that or anything like that. I understand. You know, but it's hard when you're trying to do a rare disease. And, you know, I'm, I'm just an average Joe. I'm not a public figure, I'm not a movie star, sports athlete, whatever, you know, a person who has notoriety and, and, and access to different funds and resources that I can't, I would dream of, but I can't. But it's really hard, and I'm feeling the pressure, and I... I'm having dreams of my daughter, and I'm just like looking at her, I'm just saying, I'm sorry, honey. I don't know what else to do. I don't want to fail you. I told you, I will protect you from the bad things in the world. And I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. So Ellie, please forgive me. I'm not going to give up, but it's very hard, and Daddy don't know what to do. I've tried to reach out to everybody, and it's hard, but I'm not going to give up, honey. Know that. Know that Daddy loves you. Mommy loves you so much. Miss you every day. Oh, um, as always, you can leave comments down below. Um, we have a Facebook or a Facebook page, the LSA Project. Um, you can also email me at LSA Project at gmail .com. Um, you can see us at our YouTube channel. I post a link there. Leave comments, suggestions, whatever. Tell you me, you think I'm a complete idiot. <laughs> whatever. Just know that we're here. We're not going anywhere. But it's feel so much like a failure. Thank you for listening to me babble and get my frustration out and, and just think, please. Just think. 
about a person who lives in so much pain and I don't know well thank you so much for listening to me I gotta go um have a, a good day and may God bless and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.